Well, what is up, guys? Welcome back to, to, to Oxy Free. Oxen Free. I don't know how to name this, so. I've played this before on my Xbox, but it's Xbox, I can't capture it properly. Oh, it used to be a military game. base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, company. then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alright, so... Alex? Free right hey, here. still with me. us? Alright, there we go. You haven't said anything uh, for like 10 minutes. My mind yeah, drifted. yeah, my... My mind drifted for a second. Oh, it's 8 p.m. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meet cute any more than we have to. <laughs> and you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Yeah. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling, living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. No, that that's the weird part. Weird. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> and to date, that's still what I think she looks like under her clothes. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're right. Shouldn't we wait until we get there or at On least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. Yeah. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, so you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's... Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. That's so sweet. Ooh, a bite. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. I won't undercook it. By the way, I won't hear much talking during these because it's a mostly talking game. The music, I love the game. Oh, that's just weird. Ferris Jonas, he looks cool. Alex, mm. Mm. I like Jonas. Jonas is cool. I like Jonas. Okay. 
Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, my uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Yeah, sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. I'm being polite. You should try it sometime. Okay, well, just remember, aim to throw up in the water. Aim to throw up. Here's the smoke if you want it. Come, come. Or... <coughs> you all right? <coughs> They're filtered. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm in <clears throat> flavor country over here. <laughs> All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh. Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. So let's be buddies. Um, just never mind. I've already made everyone uncomfortable, so... No, it's... You're not making anyone uncomfortable, but... I mean, let's all just go up. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh... Yeah, fine, sure, no problem. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh huh. That's actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's like kids at camp or whatever. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. <laughs> improper acts, all right. Yeah, basically, seniors can- Uh, yeah, isn't this supposed to be like a giant swarming animal mask wearing freakout? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex, it's just supposed to be like a somewhat oversized kegger, and I think more people are coming. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth? The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're in... <laughs> the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you should no, it's not. to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. I've so back up a second. Like, I'm Who's done. Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. Man. That woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. Alright, so I've already played through most of this on my Xbox, so I'll be skipping through a lot. And like, going to things. Tell me really, mate, I remember. Oh, it's 9 p.m. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally uh -huh. into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Ren, relax. Oh, what was the thing you wanted to say to Alex, Jonas? You can just pretend I'm like a stray dog. Yeah, what was it really, Jonas? If you have some deep, dark secret, I'd like to know now before we're officially housemates. Oh. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story, what was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah, hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's- Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as a daisy stepbrother. 
stepbrother. Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh... Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> That's, um, I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? There's nobody else coming. We're it. What? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. <sighs> Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last. Looks like finding new dialogue I haven't heard before. Probably because I skipped through most of it and just ran. What I do in most games. Anyway, as I was saying, you won't be hearing much talking from me. Only when loading screens. Yeah, I'm having to do a chapter a night. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or... Slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth, whoever All truth, right, let's uh, just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna- I'll start, run. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait! I want to hear- Oh, his... man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like- <laughs> Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just say so. I mean, I, I- I like her as a friend, right? That's- I just like her as a friend. That's- that's all. She's cool. She's- Oh, liar! Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. You can practically smell it on him. Can we just drop this, please? All right, Alex, you get first blood. Slap him like he stole something. I can't believe this is happening. This really doesn't. <laughs> and it's not even my birthday. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I didn't think you had it in you. Yeah, she's full of surprises. Backstabbing surprises. So, Alex's turn? Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass? Um, the... No, no. <laughs> yes? All right, let's... Do uh... you like Ren? Oh, Jesus. Can we just stop with the whole me and Nona thing, please? Of course she doesn't. She barely likes anybody. She's like an amoeba. One day, she'll reproduce in a cloud of spores. You don't have to answer. I like Ren like a friend. Like, it, uh... I mean, there, he's... He's a nice guy. You're, you're a nice guy. And uh, we goof off and, yeah, you know. Ta-da! All is right with the world. Oh, shut up. Um, Nona, you're up? Oh. Uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. 
A better question would be, what would she get when the artist refused to draw two dogs eating a dead baby on her forehead? I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am gonna get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother, pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Is there, like, a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't... Clarissa, Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well... Let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place, and we'll see if it matters. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just... You know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should, like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be pouty. Thank you. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish... You be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very <sighs> clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. <laughs> okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you wanna check out the caves or? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, I'll push you over. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. We never Whenever talked about Whenever you're ready. Dawn. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely ten. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, and what the hell was up with you and the whole Nona thing with the game? I mean, okay, fine, fun is fun, but I'm trying to get in with this girl, and it was as if you liked making me look like an idiot. It's a game called Truth or Slap, Ren. It's supposed to be a goof. I thought you'd laugh. Why would I laugh at that? It really sucked, actually. Just get over it, man. She's gonna forget all about it by tomorrow morning. Jonas, you think she's just gonna forget about it? Yeah, that type of thing never sticks. <laughs> sure. Okay. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Oh, you're the only one? Gimme. <laughs> oh, no. These are just for me. I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, maybe it's best he's the test balloon for this anyway. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. It's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How... how is this... 
How can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me, not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Brownies are kicking in. Kind of? I got it. <laughs> okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. So, yeah, it sounds, uh... Satanic. Not what I was gonna say, but yeah, close enough. Like that. Wait, what was that? There's like, this is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. I can't... Oh, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like... A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Ooh, freshwater pool. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. Yeah, if it's a pool, that'd be cool. That's good. That's good. I That's good. Um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. Mismeasured the magic. Damn, Jonas. Jonas and Alex are my favorite two characters. Like, like, hey, I love them. They're brilliant. Supposed to crouch. Nope. Okay. Jonas. Jonas. Up there. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna do this in parts. I'm not sure how many parts there are. Sure how many parts there are. I haven't completed on my Xbox yet, so there's a certain part I get up to and then I don't know what we're doing. You can walk. Get down. Get down. Here we go. Coming from my chest. Yeet. Jonas, seriously, where are you? bring an ashtray down here or a pen it's my shadow shadow really creepy oh no that's just water yeah. 
see a man about a dog. Sure. Are you okay? Ah, Jesus, you scared me. What are you even doing? I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. No, it's uh it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's gonna eat out our stomachs. <laughs> like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? What? It's a wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. Apart from the, um, the triangle, so this is man, honestly the craziest dog. thing in here. Like, how did he even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. But I was just gonna say that I think the triangle-looking things like a rainbow or something, those, um, exist, right? It doesn't really look like a trick of light, Jonas. It looks like someone's science fair project just floating there. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out. I guess it's locked. Yeah, I already tried. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Maybe, um, later. Come on, let's do it now. Seriously, we're right here. <laughs> Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? <laughs> Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Uh, oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Yeah. Hello. Uh, hello. This is insane. Uh, who are, are you? Who are you on the? Listen, Bob Tail.
Alex? <sighs> Are you okay? You all right? I thought... Uh, I'm, uh... I'm fine. I'm gonna... Ah. Here, guys. You sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll see you guys in another one. Bye!